What is going on guys this is Abhuday Shukla and in this video we are going to have a tutorial on how to get two java programs residing on two different machines but connected to the same local area network communicate with each other and before beginning the tutorial I assume that you have a good knowledge about java networking classes java io system how it works I mean and if you don't and if you are not uh, ready with all those stuff you can check the links in, in the description and uh, I am using RJ45 cable to connect both the computers over LAN because I wasn't getting satisfactory result when I connected my laptop over Wi-Fi. So the scenario will be, the desktop will be acting as a server which has a Java program that monitors for a string from all the clients over a given port and the laptop is the client which sends a string to the server over the same given port. Obviously the ports have to be same. And so yes, let's hop to the server, which is the desktop right now. Coming to desktop, which is right now acting as the server. And uh, I have a Java program inside file, myserver.java, which has all stuffs imported from Java net and Java IO package and has a class named myserver. Inside class, myserver resides main. And uh, at first we are creating an object of class server socket. And if you've gone through the constructors of uh, server socket class you must have recognized that whatever we pass in here as a parameter to class server sockets constructor is actually the port number we want the server to listen and the client to send data on following it is some more stuff to establish connection and specifically accept method is from class server socket which is responsible for establishing a connection with socket and initializing the network protocol in the next line I have created an object of class data input stream now why data input stream object because this code or this machine is going to get data from a remote source and that remote source or that the code in that remote source is going to act as an input provider to this program so if you are not understanding why we use this do check out in the description I have provided a link to get your hands on this class whatever we read from the data input stream we are simply converting it into a string in the following line and then simply echoing it or simply print, printing it on the screen as appended with a dialog named as client says whatever so at last I'm closing the server socket and try catch mechanisms are a must to handle the runtime program anomalies so guys that was all for the server code now let's hop to the client code on the client side that is on my laptop I have a Java program inside file named my client.java which again has some stuff imported from Java IO and Java net package and has class my client inside class my client resides main main at first tries to create an object of class socket and whatever I am passing as the first parameter to the constructor of class socket is actually the IP address of the server that is my desktop right now connected to the local network and uh, second parameter is the port that I have decided it to be double six double six and hard coded it both uh, in both machines and why I'm using data output stream object over here has the exact and opposite reason why I use data input stream in the server code because this object is res will be responsible for sending data out of this machine and is linked with the server's reference and the server's output stream by this uh, s dot get output stream clause so as soon as it gets connected all the streams are good to go I am going to send a data using write UTF method and the data will be hello server which will be simply a string that should pop up on the server screen so after that some housekeeping stuff to be done flushing the data output stream closing the streams and the socket and there we are good to go this was the code for the client if you guys don't know the local IP address of your server machine you can simply open command prompt if you are in Windows and type ipconfig at first as soon as you press enter after typing ipconfig you will get 
an IP address under heading IPv4 address. Mine is, I mean, my desktop's IP address in the local network is 192.168.137. Simply copy it and paste it in your client code, then you are all good to go. So guys, I now have both the programs in the respective machine. The desktop has the myserver.java program and the laptop has myclient.java program in it. I am going to compile both of them. Compiling my client first and then my server. So the compilation in both the machines was successful. After this, I am going to start my server program on the desktop first. So right now the server that the desktop is expecting a message from the client. So let us execute the client and as soon as I press enter the client gets executed and sends a string as hello server to the server I mean to the machine listening at port 6666. So there we are as we press enter you will see a pop up on the server screen also. There we are client says hello server the string hello server is sent by the client so that was all for this tutorial guys thank you for watching my video and if it really helped you do subscribe my channel and stay tuned this is Abhudesh Shukla signing out bye bye